Hello there, how's it going? Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. I used to make cool videos, now I make videos about <laughs> PCVs and stuff. But if you like that stuff, I guess I'm gonna be talking about that because I got one more PCV. This is my second version of the PCV that I made. And uh, I wanna talk to you about the design uh and the features and you know just the the philosophy behind this thing right um i'm not an expert i'm just learning how to do this but yesterday's video had quite a bit of comments and so i thought hey why not put another one of those videos up there so let's do this let's talk about this thing what it is what does it do and uh, why all right just a little bit of background on this thing i designed this pcb a long time ago i did it on Photoshop because I didn't know how to do the layout, didn't know how to use the PCB making program. Uh, and so Justin Kenny, you can see his name here, helped me lay out this thing. And then we keep adding features to it. And now it works pretty good. There's a lot of these, like 50,000 of these, we're making battery packs with them. I have a whole series of videos. Uh, you can go on watching that, right? Okay, that's the background. Uh, I'm learning how to make new PCBs, and this is my second one. This is an updated version of the BMS PCB, right? And so I'm doing a few modifications in here just to make it work with what we're doing today. That's the top layer. So this is just a BMS, right? So it's just a few traces that go in here. It goes through the BMS, the, the negative goes through the BMS, and then it goes to the negative part of these, uh, of the XT60, of this connector that I got here, right? So then the positive goes straight from the uh, standoff and then it goes through these fuses. And then from there, it just goes straight out to your load. Now, the one of the changes that I wanted to make was gonna be this, uh, this fuses here because I only had, the original one only had two of these. And I was using 30 amp fuses and then, you know, we're trying to get 60 amps through here, maximum 60 amps. But this is a bottleneck because these little connectors here are, get really hot at 60 amps, at 50, and I'm starting to about 50 amps all the way to 60. So by adding a third one, now they'll see, you know, uh, one third less, so 20 amps, right? So I just replaced them with three 20 amp fuses, and I think that's gonna run much better and cooler and more efficiently, right? So that's one of the changes that I wanted to do. Another one of the changes that I want to do is I'm using now a higher end BMS instead of those little three ones that I was using back in the day. And so I I needed some big pads to, to run the big, you know, 10 gauge wire. So I needed that to, to add these pads in here, right? And so then now we made them and then I also, oh, here's another thing. I wanted to add uh, some other functionality. So here's the, here's the deal with this thing. When you're making a board like this, if you order, the more you order, the cheaper they become, right? And so if you can add features that allow you to this, use this single board for many uses or more than one use, then you can order the same board and then in twice as much uh, many units, right? Or quantities of twice as much and then you lower the price of that. So if you can make one board to work with a bunch of things or like all the things that you need, then that's gonna be good, right? But of course there's uh, the fine line because adding way too many features then also makes things confusing and there's trade-offs, right? So, so you have to keep that in mind. But in this case right here, I was able to get this board to be, to do three things that I wanna do, right? And so this, this simple single board serves as a uh, the purpose of, of three jobs that I want to do. Um, what else do I have here? Oh yeah, yeah. I want to I want to talk to you about uh, this thing right here. These are the inline uh, trace fuses, right? Um, these are on the original design here, and Justin did of uh, great work designing and testing and. Uh, yeah, coming up with these guys right here, right? So what happens is that a lot of people that are first time battery makers or builders get their hands on these because these are easy and you know, then 
there's a set way of making batteries, right? And so the problem is that they sometimes make mistakes. And so they just blow all these little fuses. And so up, up until today, we haven't had a fire with these guys because they are redundantly safe, right? They have uh, multiple redundancies on fuses. And all that happens is whenever you make a mistake, boom, all these fuses blow, then your batteries are disconnected kind of thing. And then uh, it's kind of a hassle. It's kind of a headache because then your battery doesn't work. But the good thing is that you didn't burn your house. You didn't harm yourself or, you know, but the bad thing is that then they're kind of unhappy. They're like, ah, these boards don't work because I just, all the fuses blew for some reason, you know? And so of course the reason is because they made a mistake, right? But the, the thing is that in the past, uh, it's been so hard to replace these fuses that I usually, I'm like, tell people like, just throw the board away, just get rid of it and then get another one. Now that's easy to, to say because this is like a 80, 80 cent board, right? So it's not that expensive. But then once you start adding all the components, the holders, the fuses, the thing, then it starts becoming more like a four or five dollar board plus your time and so it's kind of hard to tell people that like oh just throw you know ten dollars away or eight dollars away you know uh and that's what i've been having to say there is a way to fix these but it's really hard and tedious work so i've been wanting to try to find a way to fix that and i think what i'm doing here is putting the fuses here now here's one of the mistakes that i made i didn't do it right uh, and so it didn't print them correctly. Now I have rectified that in here and that will fix it. But do you see these two lines of holes here? Well, that's what that's gonna allow me to do is put little headers, sort of like the Arduino ones. And then whenever someone blows all those fuses because they made a mistake, instead of having to replace the entire board, I can just print out tiny little boards PCBs that have the fuses in there. And then you have to do is just stick them in here and connect them with those little, you know, those little, those little connectors, right? That the, that the Arduinos have, sort of like these guys in here, right? So we can put them in there, solder them in there uh, originally. And then whenever you need to do the thing, you just place it in there and then there we go. So that's a thing that I'm going to experiment with. This is going to be the first version of these boards that have that. And then, uh, and then we'll see how it goes. I also have since then changed this. It makes, it's, there's advantages to having these pads as big as you can because then they dissipate heat uh, better or, you know, uh, as much as they can. And this is gonna be, this is a two ounce copper uh, plates that we have it here on both sides. Uh, and so I, on this design, I went back and I changed it and put them as close as I could in here, right? Um, this one was just the prototype. So I just kind of went and did it quickly just to see, to get it out the door and started getting printed. Uh, I also did another thing here where I connected these two pads here with solder mask. And that allows you to make the, the, the soldering a lot uh, faster and easier so so there we go this is what this board design is now let me show you in actual in reality what what is gonna do here okay so here are the three things that I can make with this board one of them was these battery modules right we're starting to put them in all kinds of boxes and stuff and ammo boxes and uh, all kinds of other enclosures. What I've been having to do is I put little plastic feet on the bottom to isolate that because uh, the way these work is that these carry the current from one board to the next. So these are electrified, right? So so that means that if you put uh, anything in here, like screws in here, then those are, this is the positive and this is the negative. So you can use those to attach to a uh, enclosure, right? And so what I ended up doing is just using this little plastic standoffs. And that's been working okay, except that it's not, it's not the a per perfect, you know, fix to that or, or, or it's problematic because then these are really weak and then they break. And so whenever we ship boxes, even without batteries, 
just with the, all the hardware in there. And when they make it to the destination, they often arrive with all these little plastic standoffs broken. And so we need to figure out another way. And so what I ended up doing here is just putting an extra, you know, that's what these ones are for. So what we're gonna do is these are not connected to these. In fact, these are not connected to anything. These little pads here, not connected anywhere. And so what allows me to do is put these, these little terminals, these are M4 terminals that are facing down straight up, right? And so that, what allows me to do is now have a solid connection to this board, and then that board is connected to those. And then now these are isolated. And so then these little plastic ones, I can replace them and actually use this, the brass ones. And that's gonna be a much solid, solid connection. And then it's gonna allow me to attach it to the bottom and then those won't break and they, they're they isolated. So that's the number one, or that's one of the uses, right? That's the most simpler one. Then the other one, the main use is gonna be this. This is the BMS. And here it is all populated. It's got the 20 amp fuses now. And then it's got the, uh, I like using these pigtails, right? Um, and then here are the way that these are gonna look in the back or with the two of those connected in there. Um, and then here are the other the two holes, right? So I think I'm gonna change it because this is kind of hard. So I'm gonna change them to be further back, I think, right? So that this doesn't have to take that that sharp of a turn there because that was kind of hard to do. Um, other than that, I think it's pretty good. It works um, and it fits really nice right here, right? And so that's gonna probably be our, our new BMS that we're gonna start using more often because there's, it's easier to make. This is higher quality of the BMSs uh, and it just, it just works, right? And so that's what we're gonna do. This is the new and upgraded version of the BMS here. It should, it should run a lot cooler on here, right? Here's the, the another use, the third use of this is to do a state of charge meter, right? And the way we do that is by using this uh, a BGS or BG-8S. Uh, what you do is you connect it in here, and then all of a sudden you have the, uh, like the voltages of all seven groups, right? And so the same board, uh, you can make three products with that. The bottom plate, the BMS, and the state of charge. And so, you know, that's what we're trying to do here just so that we can lower the price and the cost of these and, you know, increase the functionality of these guys and stuff. And so I hope you like this video. I'm just showing you a little bit of what I'm learning and sharing it with you. So if you need to get into building PCB boards, ECDA is one of the easiest uh, programs I think that's around. It's really easy. I picked it up. I spent, you know, I don't know, maybe like 10 hours designing and I have like three or four boards. There's some that are still coming and no doubt I will have some mistakes on them, but that's how you learn. You just got to get in there and do a thing. These don't cost much. I only order like five of these, right? So now that I got them online in here and I'm like, okay, that's a mistake. This is a mistake. Okay, fix that. And then order, I could order another five, you know, and it only cost me like, I don't know, like 20 bucks or something. Uh, with shipping and then eventually once I'm happy with these then I can order a thousand of them you know and you'll pay under uh, a dollar for each one of these boards and, so, and this is this is very cool so there you go thank you for watching the video we'll see you guys on the next one by the way for all of those of you guys that I've been asking about the scooters they arrive tomorrow they're gonna be here tomorrow so I probably won't have a video tomorrow because I'm gonna be running and taking delivery of those. It's a full truck, something like probably close to 30 uh, pallets worth of stuff. It's gonna be more scooter batteries. There's gonna be the e-bike wheels. It's going to be the scooters. And I even have some grid tie inverters coming in there. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna be making videos about that, put them on the website. It's, uh, it's pretty exciting. So see you guys in the next video, bye.